It's Mrs. Coli. Hey, I just wanted to also share with you some of our fun ideas of what we're doing in math right now. Um, it's fun to just take what we're learning and make it into game time. And so I thought it might be fun to just film my students as, as we create some energy during our math block of time. And I thought we'd share that with you today as kind of a surprise for you. I'm not gonna tell you much more than that, but I hope that you enjoy watching us as we make math lots of fun. But anyways, take care. Until Bye. next time. math game and uh, we will be telling you what uh, to do to play this game. So we first grab two dice and we uh, grab two different color markers so we don't get mixed up and you write our names at the top um, and then we roll the dice to and we have to times these numbers to get the product and whatever numbers we get, like two times two equals four, and um, we have to find a four around here, right here, and we draw a line right here, and if uh, if she gets an 18, a 20, or a 36, she could try to block me from getting it, but if I roll a six or an eight, I could draw a line right here and I will color in that square and it will be my square. And we like keep count and whoever has the most squares at the end wins the paper. And that's how we play the dice game. Thank you, what a great explanation. So I'm gonna just kind of walk around and show some of my students playing the game and you can kind of see how they're doing and just winning. Here they go, here they go. Let's see what, what happens. Mm -hmm. There's no, there's five. Okay. Twelve. Where would the twelve be? Oh, right here, there's a the twelve right there. I got square. Six times six. Six. Four times five. Twenty. Is that five times four? Five times four. It's twenty. Yeah. Six times three. Six. Okay. Your turn also. Eighteen. 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 Four, three. Hope that you. Wow, today's been a fun day filming my class. Um, we have another fun game that we like to play called Multiplication Around the World. It's one of, I'd say, one of my students, one of their favorite multiplication drills that we do. We don't do it every day, but when we do it, the students always get excited. So we thought we would do kind of a mock run of what we do, and, and maybe you've played it before too. You could use it for division facts, addition or subtraction. It just so happens that today we're practicing our multiplication facts. And so this encourages students to go home and practice so that when we play the game, um, they, they can be the winner of it. And they get to remember how many wins they have at the end of the game, whoever has the most wins usually gets either 100 or 500 points, and then I'm using punch cards for individual rewards, which they can transfer to use at the treasure box, or um, special privilege, privileges like show and tell, or they can sit with a buddy at lunch, and those kind of things. So today, my teacher is Addie, and she's going to be showing you what the teacher does. The teacher does choose a student to begin the multiplication challenge game, and so our, our friend here, uh, Asa is going to go first. She's going to try to take a, a win um, with one of the other students. So she's going to go stand by Soph. Soph is going to stand up by her side. Okay, and then the teacher's going to say what the multiplication fact is. Whoever, let's have you join them a little quicker, like closer. And then whoever's the fastest, they get to take the win and then challenge the next student. Okay, so ready, go. What is 3 times 12? Awesome. So you took a win. So Asa would sit down and Sok is going to go challenge our next student. Nice job on that. Wow. Nice job. So the entire classroom and then at the end you would say, okay, who has the most wins? And that student would stand up. You'd congratulate them. But let everybody know they did a great job too. Do you guys like playing this game? Yes. We hope that you are able to have fun with it in your classroom too. Thanks. Bye-bye.